welcome to this edition of Adopt a Pet. You know Stacy and I'm Janice, and we've got two of the cutest little kittens to start with. You can't even imagine. <laughs> one is black and one is white. Oh my gosh, David. they're so cute. Look at the bull. Hi. Hello. Oh, you are so incredibly darling. Aren't they cute? Oh. They're not litter mates either. They um, actually came from different cages, but they have litter mates with them. Yes. So it's almost like a little bit of Siamese. Yeah, um, she does. She's a little a lilac point. Got a little lilac point, a little lavender in her. Um, the, I'm sorry, him. It's a little boy. And we've actually <laughs> neutered both of them already because they were two pounds. Uh, they're both available for adoption. They don't have names because we thought we would save that privilege for you. Ooh. And we, we promised you kittens, and here they come. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is so two out sweet. of many, many kittens. Aren't they great? Oh, so cute. Oh, there you go. I don't know. I'm, I'm partial to this little black kitty. Hi. This one's He's so beautiful. Cool. Isn't he sweet? He's so cute. We have lots of adult cats uh, available for adoption. We have lots of kittens available for adoption. We have lots of bunnies available for adoption. And we even have some hamsters up front still, don't we? Mm -hmm. and, yeah. a pig. and a guinea pig. <laughs> you can't beat that, right? And we adopted out a cockatiel the other day. Very good. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, I like His to belly. I like to rub your belly. I like to rub your belly. <laughs> Get used to it now, because when you're an adult, you won't like your belly rubbed, will you? All right. Are we going to stop loving on him and give yeah, him a Yeah, I guess we have to. Oh, yeah. So cute. Oh, my goodness. Thanks, David. Wow. That is great. They're cute. Well, we're going to have to wake up our first dog of the day, I think. Wake up, Coco, and come on in. <laughs> Coco's being loved up on in the hallway. Oh. Hi, Lady Hi, Coco. Hello, love. Oh, what up? All the way? You coming up or not? I was like being loved up on in the hallway. I really didn't want to. Are you? You, you, well, you have need to, to come in and deal with this. You need to look at the camera. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Again, we're just gonna keep showing her until she I finally can't gets adopted. I cannot understand why you don't have a home yet. I don't you get it. Around. I just don't you think get it. You can turn it. around here. Come on, Coco. Come up here. Come on, can you come on, come on, come on. Come here. Oh. Oh, just go to sleep. Just smells. It smells. We're good. Okay. Um. So, Coco. <laughs> This is oh. how this is how you usually know her. Coco is. Uh, let's show you your beautiful face while we're getting your be belly rough. There you go. So Coco is a beautiful, beautiful German Shepherd pit bull mix. She's been here for many, many months. She was here with a dog named Charlie, who was adopted. Coco is available by herself uh, right now. She is um, only two years old. She's a spayed female. She's a big girl. She's a mellow girl. She's a potty trained girl. She is not an excessive barker, and she is amazing with children. Uh, we want you to know that. She's amazing with children. And Coco spent uh, her six hours at a fire, um, fire police service day a couple weeks ago where she was bombarded with kids and love, and she just, she just laid there it. and took every minute of it. Uh, there's some dogs that Coco's not crazy about. There's some dogs that we think that she'd be okay with. Um, she would really prefer, though, to be the queen of her castle. She would. She would. Uh, but, you know, we, it's important that we adopt her out. And she's been here so long that she just she needs a home. She deserves a home. I mean, they all do. But she, 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 she really deserves a home. Yeah, are you going to get up and say hi? Are you going to get up and say hi? But um, she is she's an exceptional dog. Oh, no, she totally is. I just can't even imagine that she's still here. She is still here. She's available for adoption for you folks. Please come down and meet her out of the cage. She's, again, she is exceptional. She's a wonderful, wonderful dog. And any of the staff members, any of the volunteers that work here, including Carolyn, would take her home in a minute if we could. Uh, we just, we can't, we're full up. So we're depending on you to come and meet her and take her off of our hands and make her your new family member. Right? Right, love? Right, love, you ready to go? No. <laughs> Ready to go? Come on, let's go. Come on, go, go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Like, oh, really? I know. I know. She's the most mellow two-year-old on the planet. I know. Planet. I'm so, okay, I, it was my fault. I scratched her butt. <laughs> she says, "Really? Can we just lay and?" Oh, she, she says, goes. "Okay, I'll go play now." There she goes. <laughs> She's so funny. I think she just got wind of the kittens. Ah. Look at this. Oh my goodness. 
Hi, this is Roxy. This Hi, is Roxy. Roxy. <laughs> Hi, baby. Oh, oh honey. Hi, Scruffy. Okay. Hi, Scruffy girl. You like a little it's terrier? Oh, a little terrier? Yeah, we were thinking like a border terrier, maybe some schnauzer. I I mean, does she look like, you've got a schnauzer at home. Maybe she's got a little. Whatever oh. came over the fence last, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to tell. It's yeah. hard to tell. So, uh, Roxy, you as you can tell, you can go to a groomer. We can make her whatever you want. Exactly. Yeah, she needs a she needs a little grooming. Um, we just we had some that are a little worse off than Roxy, so she's got to wait her turn at this point. Yeah. Um, Roxy is two years old. She was turned in by her owner because they could no longer care for her. Um, and she's got a long life. She's only two years old. She's a spayed female. She's 104 to adopt. And as you can see, she's a wonderful, wonderful dog. She's good with children and she loves other dogs. And she's got some roommates. So pluses all the way around. And she's cute. Very cute. You're very sweet. You she's, a, she's a nice little dog. Um, you know, it's not excessive barking, but she does bark every once in a while when she wants to play or when she wants some food. But you know, she's still puppy-like. She's very puppy-like. But uh, she's a she's a cute dog, and uh, dogs like this, you know, groomed maybe uh, maybe twice a year. Yeah, I'm thinking schnauzer. Yeah, huh? You can yeah. look right here. Yeah. But um. You yeah. said your teeth. And she's got a little uh, overbite there or underbite. It's kind of cute. It kind of makes you even cuter than you are. But how could you resist that face, folks? Look at that. Come down and adopt Roxy. She's only 104 to adopt. That includes her microchip, her first vaccinations. Oh, my sweetheart. She's a good girl. All right. Come on, Roxy. Sorry. Another one of those dogs whose feet are never going to have to touch the ground. Yeah. Well, and hopefully they will. <coughs> you know, I don't, I really kind of discourage people to, and I know you do too, to hold their dogs constantly. No, yeah. It really, it, it can heighten aggression in a dog because they feel, um, overly secure and they don't want other people to touch them because they're so secure in their owner's arms. Dogs are meant to be on the ground walking around on a leash and you know not to be constantly held in a purse or in your arms. That's important. I mean yes you need to affectionately hold your dog all the time but 24-7 oh. is a little much. Oh my goodness Hello, did you baby. take go for a run? She says, He's always out. excited. She says do you know what's hot out there? Yeah. It's hot Hi, out Nina. there. Hi, she says it's hot out there. Did you know that? So Nina's always like this. She's always on, she's always excited, she's always happy. Again, sh another two-year-old. Uh, Nina is a minpin, uh, female. She loves other little dogs and a lot of energy, huh, Carolyn? Very. Yeah. <laughs> she is high energy. Um, if she were to be left alone, she would need a job to do. Uh, she needs lots of toys and probably even a companion. So if you have another little dog at home you're looking for a second, um, she would be a good dog. She's also good with kids. Uh, which is a plus. Um, Mint pets are, really? they're a different breed too. You know, we tell you to research your breeds before you come and do an actual permanent adoption, before you get an animal, and, and do that research on min pens. You need to um, have a high energy type of lifestyle to own a dog like Nina, and uh, know that she's not just a, a lap dog like Coco. <laughs> Coco's <laughs> a lap dog, you know, you can get away with being mellow all the time. But this one, uh, yeah, if you tried to lay on the couch for a couple hours to watch... Yeah, she'd watch, be bored. Oh, she'd be bored she's, and she'd be all over she'd you. She'd say, let's go eat a pillow. That's yeah. what she would say. But um, <laughs> Nina's been here a long time, too. I don't get it. She's beautiful. Yeah. And she's a min pin. You can't beat that. But yeah, come down and meet Nina out of the cage. And you can see how much different our animals are out of, out of their cages and out of their confinement once we get them in a yard uh, where they're a lot more comfortable and there's not a lot of barking. Baby. Hey, oh, baby all of our dogs would so love to have a yard. They would. They would. Um, and a, and a human to call them up. Yeah. Right, Nene, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Good girl. Come on, Nene. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. Come go, go. I think we got her. Go, go. Here we go. Oh, we're not loving the leash. Not loving it. Not loving it today. She was probably held her whole life. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Oh, this one's so cute. This looks like my neighbor's dog. This is the baby. Well, we'll let you hold. You oh, they got to hold a single do. dog today. Oh, I know. I was getting heartsick. Oh, I know. You need your dose. This is Mambo. 
And Mambo is a beautiful, beautiful little eight week old. Oh, just a baby. Yeah, Chihuahua Min Pin Mix. Um, and believe it or not, running stray on the mean streets of Burbank. Oh my gosh. I know. Hey, Abby. I know. Abby. Oh, you're so cute. So cute. <laughs> and Mambo has two adult roommates right now that are treating him well. He's kind of actually running the roost right now. <laughs> and. Um, but he's a very, very sweet little boy, and um, he's gonna get a little bit bigger, not much, but keep in mind, he's only eight weeks old, eight to nine weeks old, so he is just a pup pup. Uh, he is actually available for adoption now. He will be $98 to adopt. Uh, that will include his neutering, um, some puppy shots, excluding the rabies, because he's not four months old, and a microchip, so he won't get lost again. Hi, huh. honey. Huh. And he's been here a week, and no one's come to claim him. Yeah, and you know, also a lot of people, you know, people forget that when you get a little dog, you really got to research your fence and perimeter yeah, for yeah. escape patches. Well, look you at, know? I mean, this little guy could fit through a hole that a rat could fit through yeah. pretty much. If he squeezed in hard enough, you know, yeah. he could fit through any little, any little thing. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the microchips are important too. When you get little dogs like this, um, you know, they get stolen a lot, you know, and you always have to have a really, you need to supervise your, all of your animals, but especially like the little dogs. And that's why microchips are so important because I can't tell you how many dogs we've reunited, reunited with the owners uh, because they were taken out of their yard and the person got tired of them, brought them to the vet, they scanned them and the microchip went back to the actual owner. Uh, what? Okay. Are you ready? Are you done? Is that it? Is this our done? last dog? That's it. Well, you know what that means? It's time to go to Monique for our tip of the week. Hi, my name is Monique, and you saw some of our kittens. We have many more, and you can see more of them on June 15th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. for our kitten adoption fair. So make sure you join us if you're looking for a kitten. We have plenty that we don't have here in the shelter. We keep them in foster care. And although they don't cause lots of damage in pets, tapeworms sure are nasty and gross to pet owners. Usually your pet gets tapeworm by ingesting a flea that is the intermediate host to the tapeworm. They can also get it by eating a mouse or rabbit, but more than likely it was a flea. Uh, most tapeworm infestations go unnoticed. You can tell that your pet has tapeworm in by finding segments which appear as white, small white worms that look like grains of rice or seeds. On the rear end of your dog, in the, in the um, in your dog's feces or where your dog lives and sleeps. Make sure to wash your pet's bedding once a week and check the bedding for what looks like little tiny grains of rice. If you think your pet has tapeworm, take it to the vet and bring a fecal sample with you. Make sure it's a, it's a fresh sample within a few hours and also make sure that you're using a flea preventative. And don't worry, it's very uncommon that humans get tapeworms for pets. So in a sense, it's not contagious to you or your other pets. Thank you, my name is Monique and that is your tip of the week. Thank you, Monique, for that great tip. And as you can see, in the meantime, we have some guests with us. We have Brownie Troop 1246, who has done some awesome things for our shelter. And I'm sitting here with McKenna, who's going to tell us what kind of neat things her troop has done for us. Hi, this is Troop 1246, and we used our cookie money to buy beds for the dogs and cats. Um, and we went, we went to our school, and we did a food drive, and we and we got all this food and toys. So her, what her, what her brownie trip did is they collected money and uh, did a food drive at their school. They've got toys, they've got bags of food, and they got these awesome, awesome beds that we, that we've been trying to uh, fundraise for. These are the Coranda beds. Coranda beds. Yeah, these are amazing beds that keep our puppies off the ground. They donated ten of them. They donated ten of those. Wow. We've been we've been looking for donations of these. These are really great beds. They're really fabulous for our animals because they're great for their joints and they keep them up off the ground. And this wonderful brownie troop has donated ten of these beds for our pets. That's incredibly awesome. And we thank you guys very much. This is very good. And as you can see, as usual, we've got dogs and cats and kittens, and, and now much better supply dogs and cats and kittens. So come on down, make us your first choice when you're looking for that pet to give a forever home to. And remember, when you adopt a pet, you adopt a friend. Thanks for joining us today. Bye. Bye. Bye.